Yes, we're back. We're back again in ETS2. We're back again to have another look at a mod. Uh, and this time we've gone Ford. After some recommendations from the Discord group to have a look at the Ford F-Max, I thought I would. I've only purchased this one uh, so I can show it at the beginning of the video, but we will go and configure a brand new one and then take it on a drive. Grab that guide book to all things Ford and let's go. So yes, hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to ETS2. Uh, yes, if you're new to my videos, welcome indeed. Uh, trucking is a temporary thing going out on a Thursday on the channel, uh, due to finish at the end of June as a series. Um, normal content for me from then will be OMSI on a Monday, trains on a Wednesday, firm bus on a Friday, every other Saturday something from flight, the opposite Saturday something from tourist bus, which there may be some trucking chucked in there from time to time as well. So we do have videos on random Sunday. So it won't be the end of trucking. Um, but I will carry on doing something uh, from time to time. So yes, I've only just purchased this just so I can show it at the beginning. Um, but we'll now jump in and uh, configure uh, a brand new one. So this available through the Steam Workshop, uh, which I will link uh, in the description below for you. So access mod dealer. So we've got uh, the Ford F-Max Space. Uh, in four different versions, uh, all of varying prices. But what I think what I'll do is we'll go with the uh, the base one and we'll see what we can do to it. So that's the one I just purchased just to show it at the beginning, as I said. So we've got the Space Cab. And that's the only one available there. I haven't looked at any of these in advance, by the way. So 4x2 uh, Extra Tank, 4x2 Spare Wheel, and 4x2 LL. So that's lower. Okay. Engine-wise, choice of one, uh, 500 horsepower. Gearbox, 12-speed uh, with a retarder will go to. There are a couple of six-speeds there as well. Interior, so standard with a big GPS. Standard with a small GPS uh, or standard multimedia. Ooh, I think we'll go multimedia and see what that does. Paint jobs. Um, let's have a look then. What have we got? So standard colors. Or we can go... Um, oh, I, I quite like a truck of the year. Um, I quite like that, you know, that's quite nice. Uh, so we'll go with that one, although you can change the colors of that if you wanted to, but we'll stick with that. Accessory, wow, that's some dots. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, right at the top then, uh, blue interior light, we can go with that. So we're going to need some beacons of some sort. Light bar, we'll go Samurai, and then we can put our standard things on there, which we won't bother doing. Uh, sun visor, we can go official truck because it's a truck. Uh, what's that one there? Well, that's the F Max light. I've done that at the back in it. That's just the way these dots are. Uh, black or bright, so you can have a chrome or bright surround at the front. I quite like the black actually. So stock there, and we can put some uh, LEDs on the front. We don't know what we're going to be pulling, so uh, we will put some. Uh, LEDs on the front of there. That's quite cool. Uh, and then we'll come down to what we got down here. Front grill bottom. She can have stock or not stock. Uh, Dragonfly. You can put a grill down there. Uh, black or bright. The bottom half. So you can have the whole grill if you wanted to. Uh, in that bright color. Lower grill guard. Headlights. Standard lights or xenons. What well, we got to go xenon really, haven't we? Are they both going to go xenon now? No. So you can have one as standard, one as xenon. Okay. Uh, around the side here, um, have that as stock tires. Uh, front fender, you can have plastic or not. Front rims, um, Elite Rider paint. What have we got there? If I can click on it, front fender. It's just the views. It's going to be, oh, we go. I can probably click choose a tire now. Um, yeah, we could go Michelin X Line Energy Zeds, um, X Line Energy Drives. So, funky looking tires, quite like those. Side skirts, we can go painted. I'm guessing we can add an exhaust on it then, or we can have the Rangers. No, I don't know if I like that. That's looking quite good around the back here. What have we got here? Uh, plastic or not, um, stock, 
mud flaps you can add what's that side defectors so yeah quite a few uh, quite a few dots you can certainly make it looking quite nice and not expensive either that's quite cool i like that uh, interior wise uh, what's that driver's plate you can put on um, or what have we got here we got something on the front dashboard sets so you can add dots and then put our normal um, things underneath there handily but yeah interior wise looking uh, quite nice can we change the steering wheel that's a, definitely a forward steering wheel uh, standard steering wheel so we'll confirm that and uh, we will purchase that and we'll plonk it somewhere over there and there we go and then we'll go out of there uh, truck manager scroll all the way down so there's one i just purchased and we will drive it and see if we can find a job and see what it's like okay that's a view Right, track I art working. That's lovely. Right, job market. Let's uh, see if we can find something in the freight market from where we are. Where are we? Amsterdam then. Okay, Amsterdam to Brussels, 129 miles with an excavator. That'll do. Right, so. Time to hit the road. Turn the volume up a little bit. I'm liking the switch gear. We've got Apple CarPlay up on the uh, up on the thing. With I've got a text message by the looks of things. Uh, are we manual? We are manual. Oh, I'm liking the noise. So I've never actually installed a mod uh, through the Turn Steam right. workshop. Keep left and then turn left. All the ones I've installed have been oh, some lag. Turn left. Uh, have been ones that I've downloaded from various sites. Obviously, Steam Workshop. Get ready to turn right. It's uh, easy. Just go into the workshop, subscribe, go into your mod manager when you start the game, bring the mod in, and uh, you're done. I'm liking the way this is sounding. Get ready to turn right. That's definitely sounding really turn beefy. Right. Okay, turn then right, turn left. and then turn left. Turn left. It's all over now. Okay, so it was freight market. That's what we were taking. So we'll take the job. Thank you very much. Yeah, as a Ford driver myself, this uh, dash is looking uh, really familiar. it up come on there's a job to do so pop my beacons on that's looking really smart I like that right 174 miles then turn right Five hundred horsepower. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Uh, 
yeah, definitely, really, definitely, really. That's that's words. Uh, really liking it. First impressions. I like the way it sounds. Really like the dash. Quite like the indicator noise as well. Yes, this series uh, running as a temporary series. Uh, the last one will be the last Thursday in uh, June um, on a regular basis. My normal schedule will then return from uh, the 1st of July. With, I'll try and put in some extra content as and when I can. But with me uh, returning to work, get ready to turn right. I'm uh, not going to have the time really to be able to uh, keep up the uh, the level of videos that you've had turn for the last right. couple of months. So hopefully you've enjoyed the series. So as you're watching this, um, well, as this keep goes live, right. there's right. still a few more videos to come. Our coach is turning anyway. Angle that mirror. I could have changed myself, really. I really like in the sound. No, don't play the... Don't play the radio. I didn't want to play the radio. I thought I had a button mapped to the um, windows. Pull over now. That's better. The controller changed. Thankfully, I'm set it to a radio station now. It doesn't play anything. Oh no! No 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 no. I don't know why I'd set that those buttons to the radio. I never listened to the. I never listened to the radio. I thought I had those mapped to um, Windows. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, that was the thing. Right. Let's let's carry on with the drive. Further professional. Press a button. Right, see if we can get this thing up to speed. Doing okay up in 12th? So I really like an interior. So I'm a, I'm a Ford fan. Uh, really think the interiors are very well done. Keep right, and then exit right. And still building speed. Exit right. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Right, I'll take the truck. If 
500 horsepower. Yeah, just about the right amount, I think. It's managing to pull this okay. Would have been nice to have a variety of engines, but I don't know if uh, anything too much bigger is needed. It's quite nice the fact that it's got Apple CarPlay. And yeah, cruising along, I am exceeding the speed limit. But it's doing rather nicely. Very nicely, in fact. And still accelerating, albeit slowly. Doesn't seem to be a truck that I'd be concerned about having it tip over. Certainly a dashboard I could uh, sit and look at for a long time. Yeah, doing 70 miles an hour. We've got to come off up here. Exit right. I shall do the right exiting thing. To, okay, well, I probably could have done with going down to 8th. But pulling quite nicely in 10th. Yeah, definitely suited to the motorway. Suit into an A road, well, major road like this. I really like it. Get ready to Unless it falls over. Turn right. Oh, that's a turning. Okay, a bit of an audio issue there. Obviously over revving it, probably not a good idea. I definitely am uh, really, really liking it. We've got 78 miles to go to uh, complete the journey. I said I will link it in the description below, uh, the link to the Steam Workshop for it. Um, I can highly recommend giving it a go if you like playing uh, single player. We will uh, come back um, at some point in the future. I do want to do something in, uh, in Pro Mods again. So as I said, this isn't the end of, this isn't the end of trucking. Uh, this series will finish, say, the last Thursday in June. Um, but I will come back in the future and uh, stick in some more trucking. Oh, that's a coach going slowly. So 
So if you're into ETS2, if you enjoy uh, trucking, then uh, do please check out the Discord server. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well. It is a fantastic community over there on Discord um, that uh, have uh, been really awesome during the whole of this lockdown issue that we're currently going through. Um, it's been uh, a real pleasure to uh, spend time with them. Come on then, why are we doing the going slow thing? Would have been nice to get here before it gets dark, really. Of course, yes, the AI doing the 37 miles an hour. Some of the speed limits are quite interesting. Okay, going for the overtake. Please, car, coming the other way. Oops. It'll be fine. Well, I'm sure you realise that they were just doddering along. Yeah, I really am enjoying this. Get ready to turn left. Get ready to do the left turn thing. Oh, that's a gear. Yeah, I think it's got the right amount of power. So it's a fairly heavy load. And 500 horsepower. Just about right. Just keeps pulling. being overtaken by the trucks, but, you know. And then Undertake, which I shouldn't really be doing. That's fine. Right, our end destination is just up here. Keep right, and then exit right. We can do that. And into Brussels we come. Bad uh, placement of me. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. 
Oh, sorry, truck. I'm gonna have to just go around the outside of it. Turn left. <laughs> I was definitely in the wrong lane then. We're here, right on time. And there we go. And there we are. Job done. Oh, I really like that. Definitely, definitely like that a lot. I personally think the headlights are a bit low. They look a bit odd being that low down, but um, overall, yeah, really like the truck. Um, so I will leave a link to it in the description below so you can go and grab it yourself. I'll also leave a link to that Discord server. And let me know if you've been enjoying this series. As I said um, it will continue in some form. Trucking isn't going away from the channel completely. Um, but uh, I was trying to do a series that I could fit in um, throughout the whole um, lockdown thing. So there we are. I will leave that there. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit subscribe to see more content from me. And until the next time, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.